Good day fellow cinema nerds and movie geeks of the internet, you're watching Dino Reviews wearing the jacket. Uh this one's gonna be it's gonna be a very calm one because uh like nine thirty at night I always say the time for some reason it might to you may not be so dark, a bit bit dark, the only thing lighting up is my lamp over there, a lava lamp here and the LED lights behind my TV. But um hope you're all doing good. I don't ask that often enough. I do point out like, oh yes, to, to the five people watching, but whoever watching, I hope I hope you're doing well. That may seem very insincere, like, very, but I, I mean, I hope you're doing proper good. And your, your summer's going good, and well, it depends on which country you're in and how old you are, that, you know, that, it, because I'm saying summers and your summer vacation is in, you, you, you got a bunch of free time. But, uh, today we're talking about The Legend of Tarzan, which I saw on Thursday. I'm talking about it now on a Sunday night. Uh, so yeah, um, and the reason I didn't talk about it when I first saw it is because as soon as I got home, I don't know, I just felt extremely tired, which I sometimes do, and I just said, "Screw it!" And I just got in my pajamas and just laid in bed, and I stayed up till 4 a.m. because I didn't expect to do anything the next day because uh, not like I'm going on vacation. Not many of my friends are, uh, you know, that winter. Just, you know, go out in town and do nothing, and also, I don't know, there's only a couple movies I want to see. But, you're not my therapist, I don't know why I'm saying that. Not, not that bad, I... Just point out. <laughs> uh, me saying you uh, me saying that sounds like there's something wrong with me, I, I'm, I'm fine. And <laughs> um, that makes it sound worse. Um, but anywho, moving on. Um, and then, the nights after that, I don't know why, there's just something with me that I have to must up a lot of energy to get in clothes. If it's not because I'm being forced to go out, or you know, I need I need to be somewhere, then I won't be able to find the energy to just get in my clothes. Because as people say, pajamas aren't just clothes; they're state of mind. Just having cotton pajamas on, you know, with no like socks or shoes, you can just lay down, you, know, and you feel completely comfortable. Um, well, it depends on what type of pajamas you are, because like it could be really hot. You wear those furry onesies that can be very very hot, and like uh, those those. Pajama bombs are like right up in your business, and you can't. You have to walk a bit funny, and you, okay, that's a, that's not very good imagery. But um, the, the, I don't think this is a commentary channel on pajamas and the state of pajamas. They're destroying the world. But I couldn't muster up enough energy to put bloody clothes on. But because I I did I did now I could just wear my pajamas. I don't think many people will care. But then just doing my hair. My hair's a mess. My hair's a bloody mess. And also uh. With The Legend of Tarzan, it was one of those movies where, like, I can see it for free, and I'm sure, it do and from what I've heard, it's not that bad. But, you know, I didn't, like, I didn't have, like, oh my, uh, actually, yeah, I might have fun doing this and, uh, like, seeing it, and just go out and see as much as, like, Star Trek Beyond, because I have a lot more interest in Star Trek Beyond than, like, The Legend of Tarzan. Um, but I saw it on the last night, not in cinemas anymore, uh, but I, I saw it anyway. I missed out on, like, I keep saying, I missed out on, like, Warcraft and Ghost of Egypt, even though I didn't have the biggest interest in it. I'm not the type of person who tries to see every single thing in the cinemas. It, I have to have some slight level of interest to, you know, see it, and I thought, move back to Tarzan, might as well see it. Um, so, The Legend of Tarzan, then. Now, uh, not, I say this is a part of a franchise, because it's got Tarzan in the title. Um, Tarzan. Bloody, uh, here it is. Right in front of me. What do you know? Me, being born in 1999, I grew up on the Disney version. The proof, see, I, I have the DVD, that makes me special. <laughs> um, I'm watching it in a while, but, you know, I remember it being very good on that, that Phil Collins soundtrack. That, that, that's like the soundtrack, that, just hearing that music, and. Um, not only with the movie, but like when I watched like I don't know other Disney films on VHS, they would have like um, they'd actually have the trailer for Tarzan, and also for the video game, and they would play that song like um, I want to know, can you show me? I don't know what the song's actually called, but um, that that Phil Collins song, Phil that Phil Collins soundtrack, has a lot of nostalgia, and uh, yes, it's getting hot again. I only wear this for the beginning normally now. It doesn't even look orange in the bloody webcam. Uh, there you go. There's the thumbnail. <laughs> I'll pause it there, that's going to be the thumbnail. Jurassic World shirt. Um, d d dinosaurs were in the jungle, and this is in the jungle. No, there's no relation. Um, but, ah, but, uh, Tarzan. 
Yes. Now, Legend of Tarzan. So, what did I think of it? I thought, like many others, I thought it was alright. I thought it wasn't. I've seen worse. It wasn't great. It wasn't awful. I had some enjoy. I had a lot of fun with it, but there was a lot of stupid, just you know, just tacky, just by the numbers things that you know, kind of annoying. By the way, if you compare compare me saying it's mediocre, I've seen worse with like the, my thoughts on the Secret Life of Pets. Well, that that movie was like for like for like ten year olds and. Just because it was made for 10 year olds and I'm 16, I didn't have that much, much fun with it. I just found it really bland, even though it's kind of weird since I I found a lot, of, a lot of other films that I intended for that sort of audience um, quite fun. Because I always have nostalgia for Thomas the Tank Engine and the Magic Railroad. It had, it, Alec Baldwin in it, Sublime, Oscar, I'd recommend it in a heartbeat. Now, The Legend of Tarzan, where shall I begin? Uh, it's weird because I've watched it like on Thursday, so I could have made notes for this, but I I kind of processed it. It all sinked in. Maybe maybe me waiting was for the better. But um, where shall I begin? I'll begin with Tarzan himself. Now the actor who plays him, I've never heard of. I can't even remember his name. Um, but but the but the scene where he took his shirt off and his pants was so low that I swear even though you would see his bloody pubics. That's what you call them now. Um, yes, the, the, I think the only other people with my screen was like um, like two people and a couple besides me. And yes, when she took a shot off, it, and I heard her uh, make some sort of noise. Not that sort of noise, but like a ooh, or like some sort of noise going. Probably, probably some sort of noise to like instigate to her, her boyfriend or husband or whatever. Like, get to the gym. I want you to look like that. That th me making these noises is trying to tell you I want you to look like that. Okay. Yes, your personality is great and all, but if you could look like that, that would be bloody nice. You know, it, it'll make it give me some, you know, a good reputation at my at my weekend book club. <laughs> Maybe she went to a book club. I don't know. Just, I'm I'm just guessing. I'm sorry if you are no. <laughs> um. Uh. So yes, but Tarzan. What this movie seems to me, it seems like it was trying to. Because superheroes are so crazy right now, Marvel and all that, it seemed like it was trying to turn Tarzan, the ape man who swings from trees and fell in love with a girl named Jane, into a bloody superhero. Why? Because there's a moment where he literally kicks a guy through a door. And I don't mean like he hits the door, I mean like he literally kicks him and he goes through the door and out of the bloody train. That's some Captain America Winter Soldier stuff. Have you seen Captain America the Winter Soldier? Captain America just like kick people and I just fly across the room. And like, so it looks like Tarzan was like just giving, uh, just, I don't know, somewhere in the film, just giving some super soldier serum. Like, and at some moments, he seems quite invincible. Like, there were moments where he'd swing, and there'd be guys shooting at his stomach. Like, you would see the smoke is aimed at his stomach while he's swinging. So it should just kill him right there. But for some reason, it doesn't hit him, even though the gun is like dead on aimed at his stomach. But no, he's fine. So maybe the bullet just jumped off him, I don't even know. But, um,. But when I uh, so when, but when I say invincible and um, super soldier like, it doesn't really make him very, you know, superhero wise because he, as some people pointed out, he gets his ass kicked quite a bit. There's a moment where a gorilla literally just, just, I don't know what you call it, like bang on his back. I don't, banging. Uh, what's another better word for that? Uh, wait, what what word is for doing this? Like, you're literally hitting something like, I don't know what word, like, the gorilla just doing that, like, three to four times on his back, and then it just cuts to, like, a bunch of on his back, his back is fine, like, there's no, like, Arno dents in his back, and that, that fits, because my fingers are a bit weird, um, but no, it's fine, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit impervious, he's invincible, but he's a bit crap, at actually, you know, you know, being a hero and stuff, but, um, but but I was really interested at the beginning of the film, like showing that uh, Tarzan, he like he speaks fluent English now. He's like a lord. He works with the government. He wears suits. He has a manner. Uh, but like uh, you can still see like his jungle side is still there. Like the way he would like get onto a tree, like he'd literally just go like just one one arm. Just I'm on a tree now. Um, but um, I found that very interesting. I wish. Uh, 
Well, I assume if they went with it longer, people go like, this sucks, I want, I want cars and the hit stuff. So they just move swiftly on. Um, but, um, yeah. Tarzan. Oh, my cat is meowing. I should deal with that. Give him a moment. Moving on. Um, but, so, but then when it goes to, like, Africa and the jungle, it it is, a lot of it, it's very entertaining. Very, a lot of enjoyment. And, and the characters aren't all that bad, like, I didn't say they were bad, but um, some of them are just kind of flat and just, you know, has that, like for Christoph Waltz, the villain, which I'll get to in a moment, he, uh, you know, just says some generic predictable villain things and that's all he is, but as for like a Samuel L. Jackson is in, who is in the movie, he's playing a real guy, but I, I'm not the best on American history or really history in general, I got the basics down. Um, but, uh, I don't know every single person who fought in, uh, the French Revolution, but I do know of the French Revolution. I don't know if I should know every single person who was in it. Like, hmm, haven't you heard of, uh, David? What, well, David? Do you, do you mean the one who fought in the French Revolution? Yes, he's very famous. I don't know where I'm going with that. Um, oh, he, oh man, David. Remember that he, he was a, he was a hero, old David. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Um, uh, but in, in life, really, <laughs> this is so bad. I'm I'm so sorry. When I look back on this, I I'm, I cringe myself mainly because of me talking. I don't like it. I find me talking. I don't understand if you're very bored. But um, <laughs> speaking your mind. But Samuel Jackson, his um, dialogue with Tarzan, I actually found very entertaining. Some Saint may say, oh, it's very forced, or just buy the books, or something like that. Um, buy the books, that phrase. Um, I, I say normally the same words, that cliche, really. But to me, I, I found it, you know, quite nice and quite, uh, you know, smooth and flowing, mainly because, like, they were, the, both these actors were quite good, especially Samuel Jackson, because, you know, Samuel Jackson. Um, and, um, the dialogue between the two and the inside, uh, inside jokes that they reference later on, I, I found it quite nice, and Yes, is they they they're pretty much the only comedy and banter, fun, delightful banter that you'll find in this movie. Moving on, Christoph Waltz. Wow, what a generic, predictable villain. This is a movie about Tarzan stopping enslavement in Africa, his homeland. Well, not his homeland. He's British, but you know, he was in Africa for quite a while growing up, um, and um, he's pretty much saying. Um, you're Jane, he's Tarzan, he come, he'll come for you, and like, uh, don't try to stop me, or something like that, or like, uh, I, uh, basically saying, don't mess with me, I'm a villain, I will stop you, and uh, you're so predictable, Tarzan, stuff like that. <laughs> Ooh, suffer, whatever she said. <laughs> she, or should I say my mum. <laughs> Very, delightfully embarrassing, but, uh, oh no, I should probably turn the sound, yep. Be quiet, Facebook. Um, but uh, but basically, moving on. Um, Christopher Waltz, <laughs> he even has his own weapon. It, not like a gun, but like under to give him some sort of character or like under uniqueness. They give him like beads, like spider thread of whatever they said, and he like uses it and it's like to choke someone. So he puts it around someone's necks and tries to choke them, and like he ch and puts someone's hand down. And I don't know. It just seemed a bit odd, like some sort of like his gimmick, like it was just weird. Um, like he's such a generic villain already because he's just Christoph Waltz wearing a suit and like I will find Tarzan because he he can't stop me and he talks a bit like that. Um, maybe not exactly. Um, but uh, and then he used these spider bees to like as his weapon and it just seemed a bit odd. And uh, uh, Tarzan actually destroys him in the end. In the same way, Hercules destroyed a tape measure by using his muscles, and they were so big that he broke the tape measure. But, but, uh, in another way, no, not that wasn't an innuendo. Like, d d forget it. Um, I I'm not going to spoil it anyway. It's been out for a while, and some people may want to see it, and they'll wait. Um, but uh, so yes, uh, Tarzan, Samuel Jackson. Oh yes, Margot Robbie, Harley Quinn. Um, but she's not Harley Quinn here. She's Margot Robbie. 
Jane. She's Jane. She she's fine. Just like uh, they try to say, oh no, she she tries to say, I'm not a damsel. I'm a, I'm a strong, independent woman. She doesn't do that, but she's she references how Arno jokey way. Oh, I'm a damsel. But she is though. There's literally a moment where like the Christoph horse is waiting for Tarzan, and she turns and like Margot Robbie, Jane, it has a gun to her head and a, someone's hand on her mouth, which I, I bet someone enjoying that like oh my gosh my hand is on Margot Robbie's mouth. Why do I have to go there? <laughs> but but yeah, she's totally a damsel here. They try to yes yeah, she does yes yeah, she does but she actually does stuff like she frees um a slave and she tries to escape. And she, you know, bows to a gorilla to not get killed by it. Um, and for some odd reason, you know, still goes back to Christoph Waltz. Instead of, like, I don't know, maybe running away from Christoph Waltz even more or something like that. If you watch the scene, it's basically, I don't know, she comes across a gorilla and to not get killed. She bows to it, and Christoph Waltz still comes and tries to take her away out. She could have done something to get away from him, but whatever. Um, everything turned out swell anyway, because it's a movie and it kind of has to. Why not all the time? Psycho and The Shining didn't turn out really good. Um, turn turn out quite horribly. Uh, man, The Shining. Well, horrible, horrible, horrible vacation for that kid. It wasn't even vacation. They stayed at a hotel. What? Well, he did, he didn't, did he work? Would he have to wear a tuxedo? Jack, well, Jack Nicholson kind of ruined that what could have been due to him, you know, not having a bit of screw loose there. Why am I talking about The Shining? Um, the Legend of Tarzan, yes, The Legend. Kind of reminds me of a movie I heard about that came out a while ago called The Legend of Hercules, which kind of did the same thing, kind of, you know, revitalize him for modern day by making him all strong and cool and, like, blockbuster-esque. Uh, and I heard that movie's reception wasn't the best. But as for here, The Legend of Tarzan, uh, they can't do the same thing, and I found it alright. Um, but... There's some moments of ridiculousness here, and um, because when I say they try to give him some like, like they, when I say superpowers, I don't mean like he's a bit invulnerable and I know he got super strength, but literally I know he doctored bloody Doolittle or Ace Ventura and he could just control animals like bloody Aquaman to fish, like because if you're watching the trailer, you know the bit when there's a stampede going through buildings of like buffalo, that happens, and it's, the CGI isn't the best. I mean, heck, I don't think the gorillas are like. Hello. I don't think like the gorillas are like a uh, close to Planet of the Apes worthy, but uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes worthy. If I meant the original one from the sixties, I I don't think that I don't think the effects of that's a difference between those two. Um, mainly because one was CGI and the other wasn't. Um, but it, the CGI isn't the best, and uh, it looks kind of ridiculous when this bloody buff is like. He goes like, I call them my animal friends, and then the buffalo, like, he doesn't actually say that. <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't know where to go. I mean, like, there's not a lot to it. I mean, besides talk about just Tarzan, uh, and then Jane, and then Samuel Jackson, Crystal Falls, can't think of much else. Huh. So, um, summing up then, uh,. There was moments of ridiculousness. The C CGI wasn't the best. Um, Tarzan got beat up a lot. He's somehow invulnerable and has super strength at moments. As for his character, it was kind of dull. Um, Margot Margot Robbie did did okay. I mean, yes, when Margot Robbie made out with uh, Tarzan, I was like, lucky sod. But I'm a male, so I have to, I, it's kind of mandatory. I have to feel like that. But uh, Christoph Waltz was the generic villain with some bloody gimmick beads, uh, I don't know, as his superpower, because I don't know. Uh, uh, what, uh, Samuel Jackson did did okay, he did earn uh, um, his banterful banter between him and Tarzan was was pretty good. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, there's like, um... <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, many part, many times in this movie there are flashback scenes, flashbacks to like um how Tarzan became Tarzan growing up. Always that a whole gorilla said, "Oh no, he's human. We can't accept him." But here we don't actually talk. <laughs> that may, that may break the drama. Like if the gorilla goes like, "No, I don't like him." Um, but Rise of the Planet of the Apes did that 
did that very well, and they have talking gorillas. Um, but and also like um, you know, Tarzan met Jane. Um, so I think late uh, is some. Sometimes it wasn't irritating, but I was like, okay, okay, can we get back to what's actually happened? Like, when like even like late, late, later on in the film, like late, late in the film, they're still cutting back to like um, Tarzan remembering how we met Jane, and I know it's a show like, oh, he really cares about her, but um, but but come on, can we focus on what's actually happening here? We get, we get, it, you like Jane, but I'm fine with it, like them doing the flashbacks and like cutting back, like um, but still. I'd appreciate it not like this later on in the film where we're meant to focus on what's actually happening. Like early on in the film to, you know, show how much he cares about I know. And by the way, I I, I mean I'm sure people who somehow don't know the origin of Tarzan will appreciate the flashback, but I think like the origin of Tarzan is almost as well known as the origin of Spider Man at this point, you know, it's not that hard to understand. But I'm guessing it's to, you know, add more depth and drama to, you know, how Tarzan became who he is, and also in case no one knew how he became Tarzan. Uh, still, still don't, but still, we don't know how uh, George of the Jungle became George of the Jungle. Even though he was made because of the parody of Tarzan. Man, remember those Ben Fraser movies? I noticed them on TV sometimes. They were, they were supposed to be how they were. <laughs> uh, kind of fourth wall breaking, but it makes you appreciate them more. But um, yeah. Jo do, do, do. Watch out for the tree, boom. Good times. But but don't expect it to, you know, like, well, I've seen the Disney Tarzan, so it must reference everything that happened in the Disney Tarzan here. No, they don't really reference Clayton with his, with his two lines of mustaches and James, like, a uh, shenanigan making dad with the big bushy mustache and, and, uh, well, I think I actually no way. I think I think Tarzan in the film actually had a gorilla friend. I don't think it's the same name of the one in the actual Disney film, but but no, this is the new Tarzan. The, the only thing referencing the Disney Tarzan is the fact that it has Tarzan in it. I mean, they're a bit different <laughs> here. Like there's actual people in Africa instead of in Tarzan, where like it was just all gorillas. Yeah. <laughs> Is this going well for you? I don't know if it's going well for me. <laughs> By the way, J I can't pronounce this right. Did Jamal Hansu, I butchered that name, he he was also really good in the movie. You'll remember him for saying who in Guardians at the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy. And also the person for a very long time I wanted to play Black Panther. But after seeing Civil War I'm satisfied for the person um, with the person who was playing him because he did very well. But um, I'm glad that you know he's in movies anyway because he's a very good actor. Because when I, Black Panther was my favorite superhero, ironically he actually wears Panther type like I think I believe it was cheetah stuff on his head, but whatever cat related stuff. He, they draw whiskers on his face. Um, but when I Black Panther was my favorite superhero, he actually voiced Black Panther in like a motion comic type thing. So he was really good. But he's a very good actor anyway. Kind of confused me when at the beginning of the film, him and his men basically took out a bunch of guys with like bloody, with actual guns, with spears and stuff. Then at the end, where like his character tries to get his revenge on Tarzan, he still defeats him. But I'm guessing, I don't know, he wanted a one on one fight, but he could have easily just said, Men, just throw spears at him. Wasn't stopping him. Wouldn't stop, yep, yeah, wasn't stopping him. Uh. But but in the film, the reason he wants revenge on Tarzan kind of confuses me, because it is true. Why did Tarzan do that thing? And like how, like how how was he supposed to know that was his gorilla mum? But I don't want to spoil it. But but yeah, I I, I it ruins the movie now. It's one out of ten now. I I I think I could look past that. This this Oscar. Art, I mean, the movie, you know, you, for our enjoyment and for them to make money. But I, I don't think they make it for our enjoyment, I think they also make it for the money. This, you get the harsh truth on here. This On this channel, this is where you get the truth. The, the hard truth. The world sucks. That, that's what I'm trying to say. The hard truth. We're going to have to deal with it. I'm so sorry, guys. It's, I, wouldn't, I didn't expect either, but I'm telling it like it is.
with mo with jungle related move this year, I'm 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 still gonna stick with the jungle book. Uh, I was expecting like a, a Mowgli to just come out of nowhere. Heck, there's a scene with elephants, and I was and I was expecting that uh, the elephants to say to each other, "Man, oh man, look, it's uh, Samuel Jackson. We just passed uh, Mowgli and like Bagheera just uh you know playing uh, like bowing down to us just now. Oh, not playing bowing. Um, but the elephants are even talking the jungle book. But CGI and Quality wise, I'm still gonna stick with the Jungle Book <laughs> because they both have jungles in them, and weirdly enough, the, uh, the gorillas weren't in the Jungle Book, but there was an orangutan in the Jungle Book. But here, you mostly just see gorillas. <laughs> uh, gorillas. Taliban, Disney. Um, what's what's good? It was all right. I found enjoyment. There's a lot of stupid, ridiculous, generic, blockbuster-esque repetitiveness stuff. Yeah. Five. Not five stars, five out of ten. Uh, but, you know, from what I've said, hopefully that'll give you a gist of what I mean. Dino reviews, not to scream much like you, bada bing, bada boom. By the way, uh, hearing Tarzan scream kind of brought me back because my, for the, uh, it's kind of tradition in my family to go to a place called Centre Parks, and when you're in the swimming pool, to. to tell you know the people in the pool that they're gonna do waves because you know they make the pool wave with a bunch of waves they put on Tarzan's yell and hearing the yell in the movie not identical to the one they use but I've kind of nostalgic because you know a lot of memories of in the pool the big giant swimming pool they played the Tarzan yell and then they put the waves many accidents with that I sat kind of sat on the steps and the waves were so powerful kind of knocked me up the steps I went bang into like a random strange woman's leg I didn't know and then I cried because I was a little I was a little I was a little female dog but it'll make more sense because that that means another word that begins with B so awkward I, I don't intend for that but I, I think I, I'm not that awkward but, 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 but cheerio